there bringing you another edition of Grief Activities Home Edition. So today we are taking the opportunity for this beautiful day and reminding ourselves what makes us cool, calm, and collected. So we are going to do a version of griefography that we would do at Aaron's house. For today's purposes, we are going to be calling it Feelings Scavenger Hunt or Nature Hunt. So we have already, as a family, talked about some things that we're gonna look for on our walk. And this could be, if it's a really yucky day, you could do it inside and get physical items, um, or you could take a walk in your neighborhood or wherever you can, um, and just look for those items. So the items that we're looking for today is something that makes us happy, something that makes us calm, and then something that reminds us of somebody that we love, and or who helps support us through our grief or through all of our feelings that we may have. So we are gonna take a walk in our neighborhood, kind of look around some things. We are gonna choose to take a picture and capture those items. Um, you could do it a bunch of different ways depending on what works best for your family, but we'll take some photos and stuff as we go and we'll see. Say bye. We have taken our feelings nature hunt. We did it around our neighborhood and actually in our own backyard. And we had some really good discussion about just things that could help us cool down when we're starting to get upset or angry. We also talked about that sometimes physical items, while they are fantastic, we may not always have access to those. And so just remembering some of the things that we love and help us calm down. So we decided to take it a step farther and we made a collage. Obviously you don't have to, and if you don't have access to print pictures, you could draw pictures and just put all of those items on a single sheet of paper. That way it's a really nice concrete reminder of the activity that you guys did together. So we'll see you guys next week. We hope that you guys are hanging in there. Bye.